Hello folks and welcome back to the workshop where we have been having ourselves a lot of fun with uh, ex inspecting and testing the new logic boards from JLC PCB. Now for those of you that may not be familiar with what's going on, I suggest having a look at a recent video uh, that I entitled New Boards for 2020 where we discussed the whole process of ordering prototype uh, PCBs from the Chinese company, JLC PCB. Now, one thing I just want to make expressly clear here at the minute is that while I have been in touch with JLC, there is at this time no sponsorship involved. Uh, there may be in the future, and if that is the, the case, those will pretty much be the first words out of my mouth. Now, so what we're going to do today is we are going to have a close look at the five logic boards uh, that JLC have built for, for me. And we're going to be focusing pretty much on the build and uh, the quality rather than anything to do with the functionality of tons of videos out there explaining that but very very simple terms we're going to be looking at three boards for Tesla Model S components there's one for the large drive unit one for the small drive unit and one for the gen 2 10 kilowatt battery charger we're then going to be looking at our Lexus GS450H uh, inverter and gearbox controller board. And finally, our Toyota Prius Gen 3 inverter controller board. For those of you that may be interested in these, there will be links in the description uh, to GitHub where you can view the schematics, the build information, etc., including. I might add the component placement files and bomb files for use at JLC PCB so you can order them for yourself. And there'll be a link in there to my web shop where you can purchase them from me and thereby support further development. So enough about that. Let's have a close look at some of our new boards. So our first board that we're going to look at is our small drive unit logic board. This is version 6 and uh, this is pretty much as it's been received from JLC PCB. Now just a little background from myself. Um, I have pretty much worked in electronics in some fashion. Uh, for my entire professional life so far just just over 20 years now uh, pretty much I've started off with the very basics of circuit board layout and design and everything from making them with a marker and a tank of ferric chloride uh, right up to what you see here now what you see here is to me pretty much uh, the uh, best um, that I have ever seen any printed circuit board um, quality. The quality of the soldering, the uh, component placement, just the consistency and the centering of the components on the pads, uh, the consistency around the fine pitch uh, devices here is just exemplary. Um, this is the quality that you would expect to see in a mass manufactured board, something like you might find in a piece of consumer or automotive electronics. Now this is our board as we receive it from JLC. Uh, there's obviously none of the true hole components placed. And I've made a few mistakes here, like there's uh, these diodes D1 and D2 are re reversed again that was my fault 
uh, there's a missing component here again that was my fault so then when we correct those um, errors and we fit the true hole components this is pretty much what we get here uh, which is a completed logic board uh, to drive the Model S a uh, small drive unit and it has pretty much tested out perfectly um, everything just works on it all the component values are as specified and we are pretty much um, happy with this card now that we can actually uh, let it it out there uh, for people to purchase and build for themselves so pretty much the same thing here now uh, with our large drive unit logic boards um, this is as we receive it from JLC with pretty much most of the surface mount uh, components placed I mean unfortunately I don't have a facility to zoom in really really fine on some of the, the solder joints here but take it from me when I say that um, as I said on the previous board, the uh, just the whole placement of the parts, you can tell a lot, they're extremely consistent. Um, there's a particularly fine pitch part here, you probably really won't be able to see it with this camera IC13, it's a little tiny. Um, 74LVC 2G17, it's a little six pin. Um, little six pin uh, what is it non-inverting buffer here really fine pitch part absolute nightmare to hand solder or even reflow solder and this is you know placed perfectly it's lovely and clean around it uh, pretty much everything you know just doing what it uh, what it should do um, lastly then on the Tesla stuff we have our um, Gen 2 charger board. Let me just try and prop this up a little bit here for you. There we go. So hopefully you'll be able to see this. Um, again, again, this is a fine pitch microcontroller and STM32 part here. I've placed the, you know, the connectors and the true hole stuff here on it. Um, been doing some experimentation, but everything, again, all the all the SMT on here is just absolutely first class. Uh, you know, I just I just don't know what else to say. It just works basically. Um, then we will move on to our. Let me see here. Let me get one of the bare ones for you. Just got a pile of boards here. So what we've got here. Uh, is our board for the Lexus GS450H um, inverter controller. Unfortunately, at the time of ordering, uh, JLC didn't have the Atmel SAM3 processor in stock. They do list it. They didn't carry stock at the, the time. Uh, so I've basically had to, just to fit that here, and a USB port, but yeah, pretty much everything else, all the surface mount parts work straight out of the box. You know, there's no problems here. There is one problem on this board, R20 and R21. Um, they should be 39R, and I'd incorrectly um, put them on the bomb as 0.39R. Again, that's not JLC, I made that mistake. Uh, so this is all, you know, when you do a, a first build, uh, particularly with a new system like this, you're going to get mistakes like that when you work without a team that's going to cross-check on each, uh, each other. Um, but this is it, guys. I mean, for particularly the price point uh, that this stuff comes in at, it's... Um, it's just a game changer really for me personally uh, working on some of these open source products uh, going forward I don't need to worry about the nightmare of board manufacture um, 
So lastly, let me show you uh, this guy, which is our Toyota Prius uh, Gen 3 inverter controller. Quite a large board. Uh, we've got a whole mixture of components on here. We've got two microcontrollers in this design. There's a um, STM32 for motor control and a little at Mega328 for controlling the buck boost converter. But one of the things that's quite it's quite interesting here is that we have on this and some of the other boards we've got a wide variety of component sizes from 0805 resistors and caps all the way up to these large inductors and larger capacitors and voltage regulator and so forth and the most interesting thing is that it, it, with a board like this uh, one of the pitfalls that you will get is your thermal profile will either under solder the larger parts or over solder the smaller ones and none of that has occurred here uh, so very very professional uh, build quality and again everything just the you know every even these components to line up on them is just nearly perfect um, the SOIC devices are absolutely spot on the middle. So I, I just, you know, beyond this, guys, I don't really know what to say other than um, I can safely recommend JLC PCB if you want to get boards built at a very good price. So, folks, I hope you've en enjoyed this. Uh, I'll try and keep it reasonably short today for you. Uh, it was just really, I very much wanted to make this video, but I needed the time to get through the boards and to get a real impression of the build quality uh, before doing so. Uh, so I'm pleased to say that I will certainly be using JLC PCB now as my main board builder. Um, and again, just to clarify, I have been in touch with them, uh, but this particular video is in no way sponsored and is a uh, pretty much honest representation in my experience of what the uh, build quality is. So, if you're interested in getting boards built, definitely uh, do consider using JLC. In the previous video that I did on this, I went through all the ways of setting up the bombs and the placement files and stuff. There's a few little pitfalls in there that you need to be aware of. So, lastly, uh, I want to announce that on my web shop now we have boards available again. And we have significant price reductions on there. Again, thanks to the... Uh, low cost and the professional quality of the uh, builds here so folks i'm going to leave it there for you uh, we will be back with some automotive mayhem soon uh, i've been having to do all this boring electronic stuff first but uh, you know someone's got to do it and it ends up being me so don't forget to dislike, don't share, and if you are subscribed, unsubscribe. Uh, we will see you in the next video. And until then, happy PCB building.